Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video, you're gonna learn how to play Leaving on a Jet Plane as recorded by John Denver on guitar. Now for this song, we're gonna dive into some classic finger picking patterns and also some must know folk guitar chords. I'm gonna break it all down for you step by step, but keep in mind, we're gonna be playing finger picking, so that means we're not using a pick. Now you could just take the chords and strum the chords if you want a strumming version, but in this lesson, we're gonna be focusing on finger style, which is the way that John Denver plays it. But before we jump in, if you've never played this style before, I wanna hook you up with a gift right away. I put together this awesome finger style jumpstart PDF, and this is gonna show you the five must know finger picking exercises that I would recommend if you're just getting started, and these are gonna jumpstart your finger style, and this is really gonna help you start getting your finger picking hand together and getting the motor skills you need to play this style. So just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fingerstyle jumpstart and you can download this PDF or use the first link down below completely for free. All right, well with that said, let's break down this song. Let's break down how to play Leaving on a Jet Plane as recorded by John Denver on guitar. Now this song is in the key of G and we're gonna be using just what I call the one, four, and five, which is gonna be the G chord, the C chord, and then the D chord. Now we're gonna start off with the verse chord progression, and that goes like this. Three, four. All right, so we're gonna be essentially playing just this little two beat finger picking pattern and then going between the chords here with our fretting hand. Now the first chord I'm gonna show you is a G chord. And I use this G all the time and I would recommend copying the fingering that I'm using for these chords even though it may not be a normal fingering that you're used to. The thing is, is that this is the way John Denver plays these chords. You can see him playing it live. There's a good video out there on YouTube. It's like a wildlife concert where you can just see him playing these chords. And a lot of people play G like this and then they switch, but it's so much easier on your fretting hand when you learn to do it this way. So it's, it's kind of hard at first to get this ring finger and pinky here, but once you do, you really get a good folk sound. So that's the first chord. And then I'm going to a C, but I'm not moving these fingers. I'm just gonna add these two. That's such a, just a beautiful sound. And that's what we're gonna do for the, the first three bars. We're gonna go one, two, three, four. We're gonna go from G to C like this. Then in the fourth bar, we're gonna go, we're gonna go to a D chord here, which is played from the fourth string down, just open, two, three, two. And we are gonna do a little move where we add our pinky to that D chord. And that makes it a D sus four chord. It stands for suspended. It kinda has a su suspended sound to it. And then we resolve it back, so. So that's our chord progression. So one more time, all together. Okay, you can leave that little lick off, you know, on the D sus chord. If that's too hard, you could just stay on D. But when we finger pick, we're gonna go. It's just a nice little move in there. So let's talk about the finger picking next, now that you've got the chord progression. Here, we're gonna play a two beat pattern for the first part, we're gonna go. That's it, that's our finger picking pattern. So I'm gonna be using here with my finger picking hand, my thumb, my index, and my middle. And I play the thumb on the bass notes. My thumb is covering the sixth, and fourth strings. OK, 
Okay, so whenever I play those strings, my thumb is there. And then I'm using my index and middle on the more treble strings here. And generally, you know, I'll play that top string with my middle finger for this song. So let me count out the strings for you that I'm playing here. So here I'm going six, three, four, one. That's the first part of the pattern. Then we do the same thing again, six, three, four, but instead of one, we're now gonna play two. So it's gonna alternate, it's gonna go six, three, four, one, then six, three, four, two. That just gets a nice sound like this. And I'm playing a 16th note rhythm, all of those picked notes should be even. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Then we're gonna just plant down the chords and we'll put it together like this. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So there I went to the next chord. Then back. Okay, we do that for three bars. Then in the fourth bar we go. Now what I'm playing here is I've shifted now to the fourth string with my thumb and the pattern goes four, two, three, one. And then again, four, three, two, one. I just keep doing four, three, two, one here. But I am gonna make that little pinky move on the D sus four. So that's gonna go four, three, two, one, four, three, two. Then right there on that, the second time I play that first string, I'm hitting the D sus four there. And then the next time I play that first string again, I'm back on D natural, so. Okay, and then if I stay here, which we're gonna get to this in the chorus in a second, I'll just pick that last string on the second fret. Now, if I'm going back to the verse, you know, back to the G, then a lot of times I'll lift off that chord a little early. You know, and it's just, it's just an open string. It's like a cheat finger pick, you know? It's like you just pluck the open string on the way to the chord, the next chord that you're going to. And that's okay, it sounds good, you know? You get those open strings in there and, and then your chord lands right on the beat. Because we can't really, you know, you know, make it like right on the downbeat, right? So. That's okay, use those open strings. So here's the whole verse, just to recap. So it's three bars of G, C, then D, the D sus, D in the fourth bar. Here we go. Three E and a, four E and a. Now, that's the idea. Don't worry if you're not hitting it exactly. You know, you wanna try and make that pattern as consistent as you can and you'll get more control over time. But you just wanna make sure one E and a, two E and a, it's even. Then from there, we go to the chorus where John sings, leaving on a jet plane. We have one little change here during the chorus. We play the same thing as the verse for the chorus. We just are singing different lyrics in a different melody. Leaving on a jet plane, don't know when I'll be back again. When we get to the D, we play one extra bar, so we double that 
part right here. And then we're back to the back to the verse. So that's the only variation for the chorus, but other than that, just keep on picking. Congrats on making it through this lesson on how to play Leaving on a Jet Plane, as recorded by John Denver on guitar. Be sure to take your time with whether it's those chord shapes that are new or the finger picking patterns and practice it really slow and start trying to hit those exact patterns and just go slow and develop sort of the formula here with your finger picking hand. And don't worry, it's not gonna be perfect at first, but just try to get it as accurate as you can and over time your accuracy is gonna improve. And to help you with this even more, grab my finger style jump start PDF at the first link down below, and this is gonna show you the five must-know finger style exercises that I would recommend to just jumpstart your playing and get your finger picking hand going. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash finger style jumpstart or use the first link down below to grab your copy completely for free. Next, I wanna hear from you. Leave a comment down below and let me know what your number one struggle is with guitar right now that I could help you with. Also, if you have any song requests, you can leave those down below as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in another video real soon.